Hello, my name is Ambry Papa Schoedker, and I'm so excited to talk to you about why I think I'm an excellent candidate for graduate school. In order to convey that to you, I want to talk about my passion for learning and how that led me to public health and the desire to pursue my master's in public health, hopefully here at UNLV, specializing in environmental and occupational health. Like you may have experienced, trying to find your path in life can feel like you're being pulled in several different directions. In my case, my dad was a firefighter and paramedic, and I became a certified EMT when I was 16 years old. So I was interested in health and medicine from a young age, but I wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go with it. I considered nursing, social work, clinical psychology, and medical school, but nothing seemed quite right, and I graduated from high school in the aftermath of the Great Recession and I wasn't ready to sign on for student loans when I wasn't sure what future career I imagined for myself. And so I decided to enlist in the U.S. Navy in their nuclear power plant operator program with the goal of challenging myself and earning the GI Bill benefits in order to pay for college. And along the way in my naval service and later here at UNLV as well, I learned a valuable lesson about learning which is that you must be in charge of your learning journey. Instead of passively receiving information from lectures and books, I want to actively engage with that information and integrate it into my worldview and look for connections between concepts that may seem unrelated at first. And that brings me to one of my favorite quotes, which is from the philosopher Plato, the mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. And I think that is absolutely magical, and that spirit is how I try to approach learning. And so as I was exploring possible career paths and dreaming and learning more, I kept thinking, not big enough. We all know that our institutions and our culture are fraught with systemic problems that an individual alone cannot fix. We need lots of passionate people with systems level thinking to engage with stakeholders, make connections, summon political will, and ultimately make change happen. And that brings me to another quote, which is from the movie Inception. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. And so that thought process of dreaming big is what led me to environmental and occupational health. We all live on planet Earth and we either have jobs or we are helped by people who have jobs. And in public health, that's as big picture as it gets, and that's what motivates me. Environmental and occupational health is about a country and a world with clean air, food, water, shelter, and affordable health care for everyone. That's where my heart is, and that's why I want to go to graduate school. Thank you.